How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV, and today we're going to be talking about the fingerprint sensors on the new Samsung Galaxy S21. We're going to see is it actually bigger physically over the Note 20 Ultra and last year's S20 series. They said they increased the size of the fingerprint sensor on the new S21 compared to last year, and it is supposed to be faster so today we're going to be taking a look and trying to show you guys the differences in the sizes the best that i can and then we'll also do a you know comparison to see which one's faster and which one unlocks the best and the quickest and more reliable as far as you know misses and will it unlock it or you know does it not read your finger so let's go ahead and check out first the differences in the actual sizes now i'm gonna try to catch this the best that i can to show you guys the actual size so this is the s20 uh plus s21 plus sorry and the fingerprint sensors on the s21 the plus version and the ultra version have increased in size compared to last year's say the note 20 ultra which is right here so as you can see right here you can actually see the fingerprint sensor underneath the display and it does pretty much cover that whole area where the actual fingerprint icon is and it's a pretty sizable sensor right there so it is a lot more forgiving as far as you know barely touching the edge of it to unlock your displays or unlock your phone so as you can see it is a pretty big sensor underneath there on the S21s so they did increase the size and that should help with more reliability as far as unlocking and you know misses and stuff like that so now let's go ahead and take a look at last year's and this is the note 20 ultra so it should be the same between this and the last year's s20 series and as you can see right here if i could get this just right for you on camera you can see that the fingerprint sensor on the Note 20 is a little bit smaller than the S21. It's more of a rectangle compared to an actual full-on square. And I'll see if I can get this to focus a little bit better for you guys. That way you can actually see the differences between the two. And let's see if we can get that. So you can see that right there. That is the fingerprint sensor on the Note 20, more of a rectangular shape rather than a larger square compared to the regular S21 fingerprint scanner. So really, really cool that you could still see these. I'm trying to get this the best I can to show you guys the differences between the two sensors and to show you that yes, they did increase the size of the actual sensor on the new Samsung Galaxy S21 series of phones. So that is really, really cool. Should make it a lot more reliable and more consistent when unlocking your device. So now what we're gonna do is a little test and we're gonna unlock the, each phone 10 times to see which one unlocks the best and the fastest and then sort of do like a little countdown as far as you know which one misses and which one doesn't so let's go ahead and start off with the first one so we're gonna go ahead and just tap it and they both unlocked so really really cool which one's faster let me know in the comments down below tapping that is two do it again that is three let's try it again Four. So, so far the S21 does look a little bit faster. Five. Six. And I'm just barely tapping it. I'm not holding down or anything. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. So yeah, they're both really, really good. Uh, the S21 is a little bit faster. So now we're gonna go off and not cover the entire icon. And that did it right there for the S21. Let's go ahead and try it a little bit off to the side. So it did not pick it up. A Little bit right there, 
did not, there you go, picked it up. Now on a Note 20, let's go ahead and go off to the side. So a little longer, hold down. It's not picking it up on a Note 20 if I go off to the side just a little bit, just like I did on the S21. Not picking it up, you sort of have to get it right exactly on top of the icon. On the Note 20, while over here on the S21, I could go off the icon just a little bit and it will unlock. So now let's do a quick tap on both of these. So that was a quick tap. Now let's try the Note 20 Ultra. Quick tap, did not pick it up. And that quick tap did pick it up a little bit right there on the Note 20 Ultra. So now let's see which one is the fastest again. Quick tap. Okay, the S21 did not pick that one up. Let's try again. Quick tap and they both picked it up. So yeah, S21 is a little bit faster and I think that's just because of the uh, larger sensor on the S21 compared to the Note, but the Note is still a pretty fast update. As far as updates go, the Note 20 uh, has gotten a lot faster over the time with these current software updates. So it's still not a slouch, you know, compared to the S21. It's still reliable and it still works pretty well but the S21s are definitely a little bit more forgiving when just going off to the side as compared to the Note 20. You have to get it exactly right on the actual icon, which over here on the S21, you could go off to the side a little bit and still get a reading on that. So really, really cool that they did increase the size and it is actually a larger sensor on the S21 physically. So that's really cool and it is a lot faster, a little bit faster than the Note 20 Ultra and of course the S20s from last year. So that being said guys, I just wanted to share this with you, a quick little video comparing the fingerprint sensors on each of the device. Both of these devices are really, really nice. They do have face unlock too, so to help out with that fingerprint sensor, you can unlock it using face unlock with these two phones. But I just wanted to share with you guys the actual physical size of each of these sensors, the new S21 Plus and the older S20, sorry, Note 20 Ultra. So hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Hope this is, you know, helps you decide whether or not you want to get or upgrade to the S21, either one of them, the Plus or the Ultra. If you're coming from a Note, personally, I don't think you should upgrade if you already have a Note 20 Ultra. If you have an S20 maybe, or an S10, then yeah, you could probably upgrade, but a lot of people aren't just because of that lack of SD card support. But that's totally a whole different video for another other time. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, all of that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.